Hello, it's Tanya <clears throat> from Cole House Arts and Crafts. Um, I think I'm going to do an open cup style pour. I actually have this little thing. It's a lid to a uh, room deodorizer. I've used it a few times, as you can see. Um, I don't think any of that paint is going to come off, but I may want to pick it off after it dries after this one. <clears throat> I have a Master's Touch Milky White. You know, actually, I don't want to start with that color. It's been a while since I've done an open cup pour. <gasps> so I just thought about it. Um, hmm. Just a second. Bear with me here. trying to figure out what to use as the base that I have a good amount of that would go well. I don't think that. Maybe this one. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with this. Um, Master's Touch. Phthalo Cyan Blue. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to start with a petal of this in the middle. I like to switch up te techniques quite often. Um, as a result, I'm kind of a jack of all techniques, master of none. That is okay because I don't like doing the same old thing over and over. So I'm going to start off with Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. This is a gorgeous color. Do some extreme sheen, twenty four karat gold. <clears throat> and then I have this uh, teal color that I had made up the other day. Um, I mixed uh, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue with that um, Metallic Leaf Green color. I really dig it. I like this color. There's not much of it left, though. Okay, I'll save a little bit for the nature. Um, I think I'm going to in a little bit of this milky white. <clears throat> this little thing doesn't uh, release the paint out like a, a cup that you would, you know, like a cup that you might cut in half and do an open cup with. Have Artist Loft Metallic Purple. And Liquitex Haynes Gray.
try to just lift this up a little bit and let some of that escape. the metallic leaf green. of this uh, teal color I mixed. <clears throat> Just a wee bit of the milky white. Metallic purple, or a sloth metallic purple. Pins gray again. Too much of it uh, <clears throat> seeping out. So, my fingers right in it. This paint there. I'm gonna put out some more of this. I wish I had some runoff in a cup that I could put down for a flow extender, but I do not. I'm kind of in the habit of using the runoff in a one last painting of the night. I usually uh, put it in a cup and use it as a base coat for something. Um, and the torch on this. Little bit just looks sloppy. I'm actually gonna put on some gloves even though my hands are already messy for the tilting of this. 
tempted to put it on the spinner and spin it out. And yeah, I'm just going to tilt. Yeah. I didn't put it on a clean pouring area underneath. Just about want to put down, use a little cell activator and kind of swipe that middle some more. I'm not sure though, I do see some cells popping up in there. There's some real pretty stuff right there running off. I hate that. And I'm going to lose some more pretty stuff over here. Wild and crazy. Unfortunately, all the uh, nice cells are going to have to get pushed off because there's so much paint on the canvas. This is what I have at the moment. Not so bad. But I have to get some more paint off of there, so I'm trying to discern where best to pour it from. <clears throat> I did a sun, well, I attempted to do a blue sunflower the other day. Oh, it was a swipe. And I left so much paint on the canvas, and I didn't really want to tilt it because it would have messed up the composition, so I just left it there just to see what happens. And two days later, it's still attempting to dry, um, but you can see it's kind of got some, not really cracks, but valleys, so to speak. <laughs> so it definitely wasn't a good move, leaving too much paint on the canvas. So it's got this little doodad right here. It looks like I may have dripped into it. Let's try to pour that off. Bring it back. I really dig in this little, I don't know what you want to call it, but those big fluffy little cells right there. So I don't want to pour those off. I guess I'm going to go back this way again. What do you think? It about looks like a flip cup pour. I can 
can live with this though. We'll see how well it dries. Give my pretty gloves. Try not to uh, hold my hands over the canvas. I'll drop on the canvas. I've done that before. It's off over here in the garbage. I'm just about more disgusted by messy gloves than messy hands. Grab a torch on this again. Thanks for joining me.